Hi families, this is Assistant Principal Udo and I am here to give you a quick tutorial on how to utilize the TestNav app. So TestNav is the app that the students are going to utilize for their state and local assessments, specifically if they're in grades third, fourth, and fifth. There are some diagnostic assessments and benchmarks that may be rolled out to the younger grades at a later date, but right now our third, fourth, and fifth graders are utilizing the TestNav app in order to take their bridging diagnostics for math and for science. So today's tutorial is going to be on how to access TestNav if you are using a county issue device. And so I am going to start by sharing my screen with you and walk you through the process from start to finish. All right, and so here is my desktop. This is exactly what I see on my screen when I first log into my Prince George's County Public School device. On the bottom left-hand corner, you will see a circle, and that circle says launcher. We're going to click on the circle, and when we click on it, we are going to see an arrow that's pointing up. Now, you will notice that there are some apps that are listed below the search bar. If you've already been in TestNav, you'll notice that it populates here. If you haven't used it before, it may not populate. And so in order to find TestNav, you're going to click on this arrow that's pointing up because it is going to show you all of the apps that you have access to on your computer. And so if you look carefully, you will see that one of those apps is TestNav. And it says Pearson TestNav. It's blue at the top. It's a cream color at the bottom and there is some blue writing there. And so we're going to click on the Test Nav app. When you click on the Test Nav app, it may take a few seconds for it to load depending on your internet speed and the age of your device. And so if it takes a little while, just bear with it. Once you get to this page, it's going to say, where do you want to go? We are going to scroll down to the very bottom of the screen and we're going to click here where it says student portal. Again, when you get to the where do you wanna go screen, you're going to select student portal. When you get to this screen that says test nav student portal, it's going to say, please select a customer. You should only have one option here and that option is Prince George's County Public Schools. And so we are going to select Prince George's County Public Schools, and then we will hit the Continue button. Once you hit the Continue button, it will bring you to this screen. You have a couple of options here, but only one of those options is correct. We are going to select Sign In with PGCPS. Again, you are going to sign in with PGCPS. We are not using MyCloud. We are not signing in with email and password. We are going to select the second blue button that says PGCPS. From here, it will take you to a PGCPS screen. This is a screen that we're all very familiar with. You are going to, from this screen, enter your county credentials in order to sign in. So that is your county username and password. So that should be your first name hyphen your last name, and of course, for some of you, your passwords and usernames are a little different, and then you're going to list your password. And then you should hit sign in. If you've correctly entered your username and password, it'll take you to a screen like this. This screen will tell you the tests that are available for you to take, as well as any tests that you've completed if you've done that already. And so this particular student has already completed their math benchmark, or excuse me, their math diagnostic, and they still have their science to complete. When your teacher tells you to, you will hit start test in order to take this assessment. Again, you are not to take the diagnostic assessments until the teacher tells you to. And so that is the process for logging into the TestNav app. If you have any questions or have any struggles or difficulties, please let me know. You can do that by sending me a message on Class Dojo 
or by sending me an email. My email is my first name, Kia, K-I-A-H dot, my maiden name, which is Whitfield, W-H-I-T-F-I-E-L-D at pgcps.org. So again, if you have any struggles, log into the TestNap app and you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader who still has a diagnostic to take, please reach out to me either through Class Dojo or through email. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.